Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing another one of my week review videos and this is going to be another week review on a bunch of new, well I guess it's not like a ton, but on several new Wet n Wild products that I picked up recently. And in this video, if you've never seen a week review video from me, I will use the products for the very first time, like a first impression. And then at the very end of the video, I will come back a week later and give you a full review of all the products, like after I've been using the products for a week. So the first thing that I'm going to test out is this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Dual Ended Contour Stick. And I thought that this looks similar to the NYX Wonder Stick, which I have yet to use that. I haven't used it yet. And I have never used like a cream type of... Um, contour or highlight well I guess I've used cream highlights before but I've never used a cream contour so I'm super curious to see how this is gonna work it has like a little diagrams like on the back of the package like how to use it um, but I picked up the shade light slash medium so I'm just gonna draw this on I'm just going to use this e.l.f. blending brush to blend this out. Okay. I feel like that blends out pretty nice. I didn't know if it would get like patchy or anything, but I feel like that looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see on camera or not. But yeah, that, that looks to be like a good shade for me too. Like it doesn't look too orangey or like too cool toned. Okay, yeah, I really like that. The consistency of that was like, you know, really creamy, but at the same time, like it didn't um, get patchy or like splotchy or anything. And I really like that color. It looks really pretty on camera. I guess I'm going to use this to like contour my nose too. Yeah, that is a really nice shade. Like I really like that. I might have gotten a little heavy handed there. Really a, a little bit of that product goes a very long way. So yeah, just keep that in mind because I think I put a little too much down there. And um, let me just put some up here like on my forehead like where I would contour and use my Real Technique sponge to see how it blends out. I feel like it blends out better with a brush than with a sponge. It seemed like with a sponge it just really kind of took a little too much of it away. So I would definitely recommend like using a brush to like buff that out. Now let's flip it over and I'm gonna use the highlight side. I'm really shocked by this, like I really like it. I thought it wouldn't be that great, honestly. Um, I'm gonna use this to highlight like my cheekbone area right here. I feel like I'm so not experienced with these types of products. I'm probably doing this completely wrong. <laughs> I think I'm just going to use this Sig Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86 to blend out this highlight color. Yeah, it looks like the highlight has like a slight shimmer to it or sheen. Um, so that's really cool. Yeah, I really like that highlight shade too. I feel like it does a good job of highlighting. I really, really like that product. Um, so yeah, I'm really surprised that I would like this that much. The next thing I'm gonna test out is this Color Icon blush in the color Apricot in the middle. It is a really pretty like peachy blush. It actually comes off more peach than what I thought it would from, you know, in the pan. I thought it might look a little orangey on, but it doesn't. It looks really nice. It's a really pretty color. I really like this. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with this Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. And it says that it's supposed to be, like, really long-lasting. And it's supposed to keep your eyeshadows from creasing and it's supposed to keep your like shadows looking like bright and everything like and vibrant okay it does have like a little bit of a tint to it like kind of like a peachy color it reminds me of my milani eyeshadow primer and you all know how much i love that stuff 
I picked up these two Wet n Wild palettes. These are exclusive to Walmart. The two shades I picked up, I picked up Nude Awakening and Bare Necessities. So I'm just going to use, I don't know which one I want to use today actually. So I may use shades from each one. First I'm going to go in with this shade right here in the E40 brush by Sigma. And I'm going to put this color here in the crease. And these colors definitely have fallout, definitely have, um, they're definitely somewhat powdery, so probably want to put some shadow shields down. I may go get my shadow shields and put them down so I don't get a bunch of fallout on my face. I feel like recently a lot of the drugstore eyeshadows that I've picked up, especially like matte shades, are really powdery. Next I'm going to go in with this color here. I think this color looks so beautiful. It's kind of like a maroon sort of color. Yeah, that color is really pigmented. I don't find that this color has a lot of fallout like the other one did, which is weird because it's a darker color. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade from the other palettes in the Bare Necessities palette. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. Like, it looks really pretty to me. I really like that. So I'm just going to go in with that color and the E60 brush by Sigma. And I'm just going to pop this here on the lid. Okay, yeah, that color definitely have fallout. And it's not as intense as what I thought it would be because I feel like in the pan here it looks like really shimmery. Um, swatched it even looks really shimmery. I don't know, maybe... I feel like it would look more shimmery if I sprayed it with some makeup setting spray, so I'm going to do that. Now I'm just going to spray this brush with makeup setting spray, and I'm going to go back in with that color again. See if I can get it to look more shimmery. Okay, yeah. That's like my trick. If an eyeshadow isn't like shimmery enough, like I'll just go in and like wet my brush with makeup setting spray, and that always helps it. I'm somewhat disappointed in these at least in that color and honestly in the other palette just because it had a lot of fallout and it was really powdery um i don't know i usually feel like i really like wet and wild eyeshadows so that's unfortunate it's just not the normal quality of like wet and wild eyeshadows like the ones that are in like the pans like the color icon eyeshadows and I'm going to go back with the Nude Awakening palette and this very first color in the palette. Okay, like that color was really pigmented. So I don't know, maybe some of the colors in here are just like hit or miss. And then the last Wet n Wild product that I picked up, I picked up this Photo Focus Lash Primer. And it's just like a primer that you use um, before you do your mascara. And then it's just like a white just primer. So I'm not going to curl my lashes or anything like that. We're just going to see how this works. Because I know like my L'Oreal primer that I had with the Voluminous Superstar Red Carpet Black Mascara. The primer set on that. Like I never had to curl my lashes. So I'm going to kind of see how this compares to that. I can already tell that the formula of this primer is a lot different than that L'Oreal one. Like this one doesn't seem as thick as that one. Okay, it does seem like it's curling up my lashes somewhat. I don't know if you can like see on camera. So like I said, I'm just using my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't really notice like a huge difference. I think what I'll do is, is I'll do this eye over here without the primer so you can see a difference. Okay, so there's two coats of mascara on both eyes. This is the one I used the primer. This is the one I didn't. Honestly, like, I don't really see much of a difference in person. I don't know if it looks that much different on camera or not, but yeah. So I don't know if this was really worth it or not. If you look on my phone, you can see that it is March the 11th. So I will see you guys here in about a week with my full review on all these Wet n Wild products. It is March 20th, so it has been a week 
since I filmed my first impression portion to this week review video of all these Wet n Wild products. And to update you guys, I am in love with this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Dual Ended Contour Stick. I love this product so much. I know that when I fil filmed the first impression, I was pretty impressed by this. And I really, really like it. It's this... It just gives you like a subtle contour or you can make it more intense. I love the highlight, which I did put um, this e.l.f. baked highlighter today over top of it. I love this. I would give this five stars. It's just a great product. With the Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer, this is a great eyeshadow primer from the drugstore. I really like this one just as much as my Milani Eyeshadow Primer. Um, I find that this one is very, very comparable to the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Like, it looks exactly the same as the Urban Decay one. Like, you know, it just has that flesh tone kind of color. Whenever you go to blend it out, like, it feels the same. It keeps your eyeshadows lasting all day long. It keeps them from creasing. With the Photo Focus Lash Primer, I used this over the week. I wasn't impressed by it. I had one of you guys say that it actually made your eyelashes fall out. So, yeah, I'm not going to use this anymore because I don't want my lashes to fall out. Um, I didn't have any issues with it making my lashes fall out this week, but um, it just didn't do anything with my lashes to make them look more thick or do anything different with the mascara. So, it's basically an unneeded step. So yeah, I would say skip on this. I would only give this like two stars because it didn't really do much. With the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Apricot in the Middle, I love this blush. I think it's such a beautiful blush for the spring and summertime. It's just such a pretty peachy like golden color and I highly recommend it. It's not powdery at all. It lasts for a long time on the cheeks. It's just gorgeous. I would recommend any of these color icon blushes from Wet n Wild. I would give it five stars. With the O Natural, I had one of you guys correct me on how to say this. With these palettes, they're like hit or miss. I don't really care for the shimmery colors in these palettes at all. I just haven't had much luck with them. Like, I just don't feel like they're very pigmented, especially compared to like their color icon. Um, eyeshadows like they just don't compare with the matte colors in the palette I like the matte colors okay they are powdery but I feel like you can get you know a nice eyeshadow look with the darker colors and like I love 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 this color in the nude awakening palette this burgundy color is super unique and really pretty i do an eyeshadow tutorial kind of featuring this color and some of the darker ones in this palette i would probably give these like three and a half star rating um just because they are powdery they're a little hard to work with you definitely want to make sure that you use an eyeshadow primer with them so yeah that is my take on all of these new wet n wild products that i picked up if you guys found this video helpful please let me know give it a thumbs up if you are new please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you all in my next video Bye bye